World Public Forum Dialogue of Civilizations held a productive series of workshops and meetings during 2014, culminating in the Rhodes Forum at the end of September. The themes for the year were diverse, including the environment, peace and security in Europe, and of course the importance of fostering dialogue. The year began in Vienna with a meeting of the Forum's International Coordinating Committee. Developments in the last uh, few years, especially after 9-11, have, I think, um, led to a definite decline. Civilizational identity is conflict among each other. Cultural identity now has become one of the big issues. But if we seriously dialogue with somebody else, something happens to the participants in dialogue. Dialoguing when people are uh, talking substance with each other, then states have to um, respond. The next meeting was in St. Petersburg in late March. The theme was concern over the resurgence of neo-Nazism in Europe. About the various types of power a country can use uh, to gain influence uh, and uh, generally it's divided into hard and soft power, hard power being uh, military and uh, economic uh, at the most general level and soft power being diplomatic uh, and, uh, and cultural. And I think to a certain degree the, the bureaucrats, the eurocrats in Brussels never understood as well the uh, potentiality which is involved in soft power. In the middle of May, the Forum held a meeting in Berlin, together with the German-Russian Forum, under the rubric of Europe Lost in Translation. If we want to uh, maintain our identity, we know in which sense, in what sense, we are different from the others. We've always been taught to think red shape. There's us and then the other. That for most Western European countries, at least 10% of the entire workforce today is foreign-born. Uh, for, um, for the online movement to re-emerge, you know, to try to prevent a new Cold War and a new split between East and West. After St. Petersburg and Berlin, members of the Forum travelled again at the end of May to Siberia, where they participated in the Altai Forum with its focus on the environment. One of, the, one of the lies that uh, people hold in their heads is that somehow humanity is separate and apart from nature, but we're not. We, we, we need nature. I think that the, the real key currently is materialism. Materialism has begun to dominate so entirely. While not directly involving the World Public Forum, in July a group of Russian schoolchildren were invited to attend the Song Qingling summer camp in Beijing and Shanghai. This trip was partly supported by the WPF as a partner organization. It allowed 304 children from more than 20 countries to meet together in harmony and learn about Chinese culture and history. Finally, the climax of the year's meetings came in September at the Rhodes Forum on the beautiful Greek island. The idea of the forum is to look thoroughly into the past and foresee the possible future. That is not only a discussion of the professors, scientists, former uh, politicians or businessmen, that is the actual platform, platform of dialogue of civilizations, to find a way how to avoid the possibility of the clashes and uh, disastrous events like World War I, World War II. And we have all the reasons to say that since the beginning of the work of World Public Forum, now we possibly the only existing civil platform who is addressing openly, frankly, without any modernization uh, and uh, any suppression, the questions of utmost importance for the development of the world and peace nowadays. Planning is already underway for a new series of meetings in 2015. 
the World Public Forum continues from strength to strength at a time where more dialogue is increasingly needed to solve the world's problems.